All right, in the last video, we talked about the two concepts that we need to understand in order to really get a good hold on dimensional analysis. Now, just to remind you, the first concept was, all right, if I could ever draw it, we've got a square. And we're going to change it into another one. And we asked ourselves, what's the difference here between this purple square and this green one? Well, nothing really other than the color. They're the same size, they represent the same shape, so really the only difference is the color, the way that they look. <clears throat> and that's really important to us because that's exactly how dimensional analysis worked. You know, <clears throat> sorry, we, we change one quantity into something else that looks different, but it's the same thing like we talked about earlier. If I have one dollar and my best friend has a hundred pennies, I give him my dollar, he gives me the hundred pennies, I still sort of have a dollar, kind of like these two squares, I still sort of have a, a purple square, except the only difference is my square is now green, or my dollar is now in the form of pennies. So that's that was the core concept that we focused on. The second thing we focused on was how we can cancel units. Like if we had A times B times C over A times B times C, we remember that anything that we have on top that we also have on bottom will cancel out. So we said, okay, I got an A on top, A on bottom, it goes away. B on top, B on bottom, it goes away. C on top, C on bottom, it goes away. So you get the idea. Now I want to start with some examples that are a little bit more advanced than what we did in the first video. And I'd like to start with this problem. Let's say, okay, they give us 20 centimeters and we need to convert these centimeters into let's say feet let's do that alright so the first thing we do is we write down what we're given we're given 20 centimeters we write our multiplication sign and we write this over one so that we know that the 20 centimeters are in top are on the top because remember the whole the whole analysis here is that whatever we have on top in terms of units like centimeters if we also have the same thing on bottom we can cancel them out and change them and manipulate them into what we want if we want to get feet well first of all we know we have to have centimeters down here because centimeters on top will cancel out with centimeters on bottom but what are we going to change this into are we going to change we want to get this to feet right but do we know how many centimeters are in a foot? Do we know this conversion factor? I'm not sure if I know that one, so we're going to have to change them to something else first. Let's go ahead and change these centimeters into inches, because I think some of us know this conversion. If you don't, you should. This is a very important conversion. You can use this in all of physics, science, algebra, whatever, any kind of math class you go, this is really important that you remember this. There are 2.54 centimeters in one inch. That's really important that you remember this. This is a very, very, very important conversion. Remember, like before, this is a conversion factor. Anything in the brackets has to be an equivalent, an equivalent statement. So there are one, and for every one inch, we have 2.54 centimeters. Okay, fair enough. So now, if, if I was to type this in my calculator, 20 divided by 2.54, I would, I would get my answer in inches. But we don't want inches, we want feet. So we have to continue and move on. So what are we gonna do? All right, sorry if I can get my colors right. All right, we have inches up here, we need to get them into feet. So we have inches, now we put the inches down here so that we can, you know, top and bottom canceling. So there's the top one, there's the bottom, we're going to cancel them. Now what do we need to be on top? Feet. But can we do this? Hmm. I think we can. We know that there are 12 inches in one foot, right? And that's our last, that's our conversion factor for this. So when we type this in our calculator, we do it just like this. You do 20 
divided by 2.54, remember that, 2.54 centimeters in one inch, divided by 12. And when you do this, when you type this in your calculator, 20 divided by 2.54 divided by 12, you get something, something like this. You get 0.656. 0.656 and this is in units of feet because that's what we're left with and that would be our answer. Alright, let's see if we can take this to the next level. Alright, let's say that we were given instead of 20 centimeters, let's say that we were given 20 cubic centimeters. 20 cubic centimeters and let's say let, let me get the colors right what, what colors do we have up here okay let's say that we had 20 cubic centimeters and we're going to convert these into cubic feet how would we do this well let me just go ahead and tell you that anything that's like a length like centi centimeters is a length right feet our length, right? Length or distance, same thing. Any kind of distance or length that's cubed, that's the same thing as volume. This is volume. If you remember from like your geometry classes, if you've taken them, or any kind of general class, if you have something like this, it's a cube, right? It has a length, it has a width, and it has a height, right? Well, each one of these lengths, widths, and heights, they can be expressed in centimeters or feet, right? And if you remember, volume, this volume is equal to length times width times height, times height. So it makes sense why if, you know, if we had a cube like this and say, each length, height, and width were in centimeters, 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 and centimeters. It makes sense why we say 20 cubic centimeters is a volume or cubic feet is also a volume. Just wanted to make sure you remembered that. Okay, so let's continue to the problem. Let's write what we were given. 20 cubic centimeters. All right, that's the first thing I do. Just like we did before, we write what we're given. Okay, we draw our little thing. All right, now since this is on top, remember we assumed it's on top because it's being divided by one, because anything divided by one is the same thing. So cubic centimeters, we can go ahead. A good trick for this is just pretend that this three, pretend like it's not there, just it's invisible for right now. So if we were to do this analysis, assuming that this was not cubed, we would do it like this, right? We would go, okay, centimeters would cancel out I'm sorry, centimeters would cancel out with centimeters and we would want to go from centimeters to inches because that's the conversion that we know, right? And then we would go from inches to feet, pretending like the cubic thing isn't there. So then inches would cancel with inches and we would have feet. But we don't want feet, we want cubic feet. And we don't have centimeters, we have cubic centimeters. So how the heck are we going to do this? Well, go ahead and fill out everything as if as if uh, it wasn't cubic. So if we didn't have cubic centimeters here, we would say, okay, 2.54 centimeters is in one inch. So there's my factor, conversion factor for this. And for this one, same thing. Oh, oops. We would say 12 inches are in one foot. Now we need to account for this three, for the cubic, you know, for the cubic centimeters. The way we do this, let me go down here and get some more room, is, okay, the trick is, okay, in order for these to cancel, for the cubic centimeters up here to cancel with cubic centimeters down there, we have to cube everything in this area. So you write it like this, 2.54 cubed, so now, now you have centimeters cubed because this cubed applies to both of these. So you have centimeters cubed and 2.54 cubed. So that's actually what you're going to be doing. That's how you do this. 
So if I, let me just make it a little bit cleaner so we can read it. So this is kind of the analysis we're doing. 20 centimeters cubed times, I'm going to show you exactly how I do it. This is exactly how I would do this. 20 centimeters cubed times like this. I know centimeters are going to cancel out, but not yet. I just, know, I just go ahead and do it like this to make it easier. Because I'm going from centimeters to inches, and then I'm going from inches to feet. I'm going to have to eventually come back and keep this. I'm going to have to eventually come back and keep this. This is the way you do dimensional analysis with when, you're, when you have cubes. Yeah, I'll eventually cube this. This is exactly how I do this. You just put parentheses around everything and cube it. So centimeters cubed will cancel with centimeters cubed. Inches cubed will cancel with inches cubed. And we'll be left with this cubic foot, which is what we want, right? So when we fill in everything, we have, okay, remember 2.54. Oops, wrong color. Sorry, guys. We have 2.54 centimeters in one inch. And we have 12 inches in one foot. Remember, this is no longer 2.54. This is 2.54 cubed. Same thing for this. This is 1 cubed, but it's the same. 1 cubed is 1, so it's the same thing. Okay, same thing for this. This is 12 cubed. So when we type this in our calculator, when we type this in our calculator, we will have 20 divided by 2.54 cubed divided by 12 cubed, which is the same thing as 20 divided by 2.54 times 2.54 times 2.54 divided by 12 times 12 times 12. All right, so now when we type this in our calculator, 20 divided by 2.54 cubed divided by 12 cubed. We should get something around 7.06 cubic feet. Oh, I'm sorry. Very sorry about that. That is 7.06 times 10 to the negative 4 cubic feet, which is a really, really small number. I'm out of time. We will continue this in the next video. See you then.